In this segment, we're going to be talking about the best photography schools. It's interesting talking about the best photography schools because when it comes down to it, the best thing you can do for your photography education is to actually go out and do it, which is the same in any situation, I believe. Um, but if you were looking to go to get, a, get an education, <laughs> there are definitely top schools that have been mentioned more than 30 times in my lifetime, which isn't that big. <laughs> so um, the first one I would go with is definitely um, the Brooke Institute of Photography, which is in Santa Barbara. Um, I've definitely met a few people from there, and they go over all the bases of film, which is very interesting to still do these days, because it's art has definitely become a horizontal learning process. Um, there's nothing truly original anymore, someone said. It's only the combination of things that you do. So the more you can learn about things that have already been done and be able to combine them with newer things, the more original concepts you're going to come up with. And Brooks definitely um, goes through everything that people used to do and people that, things that you're supposed to do now. You cover every range of photography there possibly is. Um, there's also the Art Institute of San Francisco, um, which is in San Francisco. <laughs> And um, I'm not as familiar with the curriculum there, but I, I know that they cover a lot. Um, they're definitely into the more modern areas of artistic knowledge. Plus, San Francisco is just a wonderful artistic place. Um, there's so many things to inspire you there and so many things to just take pictures of. The world goes on happening around you at all points in time. And then there is also the Ohio Institute of Photography and Technology in Dayton. And they actually are well-renowned and have a few famous um, photographers that actually came out of that school. So they're definitely renowned for the people that they have produced uh, being great creative minds. Um, but beyond the best schools you can go to, um, if you are younger, um, taking a photography class in high school is usually a great situation. It gives you ideas of really what you have to start working on um, and things that you need to start focusing on. Right now I look back at my pictures when I was in high school and I see how far I've come now that I've taken so many different ph photographs and there's things that you really liked when you were younger and you just learn how to improve on the things that you already enjoyed. And if you're a little bit older, any community college that you sign up for, um, it's not too expensive and you usually have some sort of resource. I know a lot of places now don't have dark rooms anymore so if you're really looking into that area, you're going to have to look for probably an older college because they demolish most of the dark rooms and they go for more of a digital dark room situation. But um, you can definitely, and park and rec in any city, they usually have a photography class. And like I said before, really take your time to go out and shoot because that's really the only way you're gonna learn what you can do.